buy our seed um, when the spat, the little oysters, just attached to the shell. And at that point, they're about one millimeter in size. You put them in stationary uploads like this, which essentially pump water past them so that they can feed off the algae that already exists in the water. These have been in for about two weeks. As you can see, they've already gotten big enough to start looking like oysters. Very good oysters, I might add. This lasts until the oysters reach about uh, half an inch in size, and then we put them in the bay. But before we do that, we, we take them and put them past uh, wider mesh so they grow a little bit faster. So the next step, we take it from the stationary upweller to the floating upweller, which I'd like to show you next. The second step after the stationary upweller is the floating upweller, where we put them into these silos. At the bottom of these silos is a wide mesh, because I can get to the bottom, that allows water to flow up past them and then gets pumped out of the dock. We've put it at about 30 gallons per minute, which is a nice rate for them. Uh, they seem to grow really like the amount of algae we get past them. So as you see, when they reach about this size, they're about a half inch or more, they're big enough to start going into cages and putting them out in the bay. So that at this stage, these oysters will leave this nursery system and go out into the bay. The rotating tube will chip the edges of the oysters, which will make the shells grow a little tougher. The tube has two different sized holes in it. One very small, so that the seeds that are ready are, that need to stay in the upweller stay there. The next one is about a half inch. When they fall through that, they're at the stage where they're ready to go into cages. And then, if there are any bigger ones, they'll fall out the end. So all of the ones that are collecting in this bucket down here are all big enough to go out into the Chesapeake Bay net. But the, the tumbling action actually cleans them. And we do this every two weeks so that the oysters stay nice and white and clean. So these oysters have been out in the bay for several months now. They've already reached market size. They have a nice deep cup, good shape. We put them through the tumbler to wash them and to chip the edges a little bit. And you'll see that they'll turn much whiter than they are right now. So we use our little boat to put the cages back. Our big boat is sort of the processing center. Um, so what the guys are gonna do now is take the oysters that are big enough to go into cages. Our cages are a two-tier off-bottom cage made from half-inch mesh. cages. So every two to three weeks we go back out, pull up the cage, put them through the tumbling process again, mostly to chip them, mostly to clean them, but also to sort them so we can get the same size ones in the same cages so we know what's ready for market. Like a pro. 
Yeah. Breakfast of champions. Breakfast of champions.